It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Rams and the 49ers, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014. As you get a look at Levi's Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Here's the former Cornhusker, Brett Maher, to get this one started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever. From Iowa State, it's Brock Purdy. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Oh, what a move. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum. And now you're seeing the field really well. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 53 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off of a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch them on their heels. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. The throwing here, Purdy. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Oh, 
They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And on this play, the read for the quarterback was the defensive end, and he was totally focused on the quarterback. He should have given it off inside to the running back. Instead, he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Purdy. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. Breaks a tackle. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Again, McCaffrey. And across the goal line into the end zone. Jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Moody good with the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Taking it about the one. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They're brought out by a man now in his 15th NFL season, one of the most productive passers in league history. And a former Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 27. Takes it up to the 40. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Throwing a Stanford. That's caught. Puka Nakua. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the 50, Stafford. A quick throw there is incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby. But it's going to be second down. <laughs> to throw is Stafford. And the Niners get there and bring him down. 
That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. Well, obviously the pass rush gets the glory and the statistics on this play, but the coverage, they deserve a ton of credit too. Denied open windows, erased the quarterback's targets one by one. Everywhere he looked, someone was covered. Only a matter of time before someone got there to bring him down. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. And they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is too far out in front. He couldn't haul it in. Incomplete. The third down is a key down in any game you play. A third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. And we'll see what he can do on the return. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. But just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start... That can set the tone for the game for them. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. They go play action here, Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Aaron Donald with a sack. But found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. Now, Purdy with a throw that's caught by Samuel. A good pick up there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. Here now, third and a yard. Purdy now to throw off the play action. And that is incomplete. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. This offense converted once already in this first quarter. They're going to try it again here on fourth down. Offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. Purdy will look to throw again here. And yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. Will go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. 
There's completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of Central Casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Purdy now on second down. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Aaron Donald. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there. Saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. A tough spot here, third and 15. Purdy now to throw. The throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And his kick here is good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they move the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Got a man open, it's Tyler Higby. And they're going to get this up to midfield. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Stafford now to throw. Throw left side, complete to cut. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Made the quick throw there outside the numbers, and you can feel the thought process. They just wanted to get in his hands and let him make a play. But how about the job they did defensively to keep it bottled up? Instead, they tackle him for a loss. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. And we got a player in some discomfort after that last play, and not the guy you want to see. That's quarterback Matthew Stafford. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here's Ethan Evans now. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. 
They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Nothing to score after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 94 yards now for McCaffrey. It's a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Here's Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. This guy is well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg? and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run-pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Now a give, right side McCaffrey. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier, was bidding for a second. Big play coming here, it's third and goal. Purdy. 
Purdy looking to throw. That'll be caught by Ayu. Touchdown, 49ers. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Niners go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. An extra point try now for Moody. He's got it, and it's 17-0. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with the touchdown reception. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but no. Oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, now just, you, called can go. I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Tackle made by Chase Young. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Now Stafford. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. Here's Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. And they'll send Cup in motion right. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. That's what they needed. It's an eight-yard gain, and now third and four suddenly doesn't look so bad. From the gun, here's Stafford. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. A gain of three, second down.
That's throwing here, Purdy. That's caught out right by Jennings. And he'll go out of bounds after taking a little further down inside the 40. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Purdy. Slant route connects with Debo Samuel. And that's good for a gain of six, and it brings up third and five now. Back to throw, Purdy. This one incomplete, probably should have been picked. A little nonchalant with the throw to the safety valve, but it's fourth down. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. And this offense has converted twice already here in this first half on fourth down conversions. And here we go again. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. So they converted their first two fourth down attempts. Not there. Now they're two for three. You think maybe the offense coordinator expended a little capital on that one? <laughs> you know, when you're two for yeah. two, you Got can lobby confidence. for that third one, right? Didn't get it there. Maybe now the head coach might not be so eager to go for it as we go forward. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. Partner, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. Here's second and 10. Throwing a Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. On second down, Williams. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Third and two, Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Well, he has been the featured receiver on this drive. They've looked his way a number of times. Why not get it to him on third down? And they do. And they're able to keep this drive moving. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Up the middle, it's Williams. He'll get this down to the 38. Up 
from the 38 now. Here's second down and seven. Now it's Stafford. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. But this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. Stafford. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. Brett Barr for the field goal try. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And the deficit will stay at three scores. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55 but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This is Jennings. Four yards, the pick up, first down. Purdy now to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Second down in a yard. Now Purdy. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So first and 10 now from the 30. Purdy sets up to throw again. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Our second down throw for Purdy. He's got this complete to Ayuk on the out route. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal.
Here's Purdy. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Juwan Jennings as the first half is winding down. And the 49ers are able to widen their lead here in this first half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Now Moody for the PAT. And the lead is now 24. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup, And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And he's going to miss this one wide to the left from distance. It's no good. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Reports. We saw a fine performance in the first half from the former Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. set to receive the second half kickoff and they trail here as we resume play this fielded right at the goal line and he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line the Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three and they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit a three score game Charles but look there's plenty of time to go here the old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three.
A give to Williams, running right. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's going to have a Rams first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. From the 33, here's a second and eight. They'll try the air now with Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. Just a gain of a couple there. And it brings up third and five now. Back to throw, Stafford. It's incomplete, took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fielded at the 20. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 23. He'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. Well, I'm not quite sure how he got away from that first tackler, but he won't even be able to get it back to the line of scrimmage there as the defense rallies behind him. You told me before it's tough to identify how to block a 3-4 defense. There wasn't a whole lot of blocking there. And one other thing an offensive line coach told me, if you want to run wide against a 3-4, which is difficult to do because of the speed of the outside linebackers, it's often difficult for your offensive linemen to hit targets in space and create lanes for your guys to run through. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 26. 
He'll hand this to Williams to start things out. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Now a second and ten. Here's Stafford. Down the right sideline. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, L.A. Cooper Cup, 74 yards. And the Rams are able to cut into that deficit. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And this take it in at the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Open man is Samuel, complete. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Purdy. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Third down, here's McCaffrey. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. From this vantage point, they've got the lead here. So for me, that'd be enough to go ahead and punt the football and let my defense defend the long field. If you go for it, you don't get it. Then you really put your defense in a tight spot. Yeah, but we never know what people ultimately will decide to do here on fourth and inches. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. This is brought in at the 21. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and out will come the offense as they take over. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. To throw is Stanford. And his throw is incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Stafford now to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So possession goes over here on the punt. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. He's got it at the 15. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, 74 yards. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there. And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase it. An extra point try now for Moody. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense, from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And we get a look at Cooper Cup as the Rams offense gets ready to take over possession. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Now Stafford. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. He's going to air one out. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Defense. 
Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth. Now it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it, but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. That can jangle a team a little bit as well. Pass interference ruined that series of downs for them. Stafford's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Second and six. Stafford. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Again, it's Williams. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Stafford on third down. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. 2-2 two, two Atwell from four yards out. And the Rams get a bit closer. An out route there for the score, a quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really surveying the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands, knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. So the call is made by Sean McVay. They're going to go for two. They'll look to throw. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. So he tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. It yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage, just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. the touchdown. Here's Marr to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. And we get a peek at the kind of game he's having. It's been a good game. Eight catches now, Charles. Everyone likes to spread the ball around. They want a lot of people to catch it and touch it, get a lot of guys involved. But sometimes when you have the hot hand or a person who's just really taking care of business in their part of the field, you have to keep going back to them. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got a man, that's Ayuk. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Now first down, fellas. 
Now Samuel. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. A two-yard loss brings up third and seven. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Purdy with it on third and long. And this is going to be incomplete. The yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in a game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Rams ready to go on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They begin the drive with Williams. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now Stafford. And that one going to come up short, low throw. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Stafford. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Good clean play, no flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Christian McCaffrey and his 49er teammates back onto the field. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. When you're trying to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. And this offense on third down today, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and 11. And he'll be stopped at the 27 yard line, well short of the first down marker. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Mitch. 
Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. L.A. readies for its next possession. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, C.D., but unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. On first and 10, Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now it's Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing is Stafford. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And he was trying to get it to 2-2 Atwell there, and it's third and short. Here's Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 28. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. Touchdown, Rams! Puka Nakua, 28 yards. And the Rams have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Brett Maher on for the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Debo Samuel trotting out with his offense to start this next drive. They have to like what they've gotten from him in this game. Think about the accumulation of catches. Eight. The yards per catch now, because you're getting more than a first down every time he's touching the ball. This is the kind of game you want when you're able to throw it out wide. Absolutely. Over 100 yards, has the eight catches. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey, and he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 
That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that will bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, McCaffrey. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Here's Purdy. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. The throwing here, Purdy. And that's going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27 yard line. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll look to Williams to begin things. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Here's Stafford. Open man is Atwell, complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 49ers' 39-yard line. Back to throw, Stafford. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Seven catches for him now, and this last one, a first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Nobody picked up the blitz. There's your result. And you know how we see a lot of the guys doing that, that motion about eating all the time after big plays? How about what that defensive front did, eating up the blockers on the offensive side and allowed their tacklers to roam free, didn't they? And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. 
They'll hand it off now, Williams. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. So a big one coming now for Brett Maher. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. The kick by Maher is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back preferably a takeaway. After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Had a great move on the play as he takes this one past the 25. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? You just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. But well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. The Niners on third down. They've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This will be third and five. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or a takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Birdie off the play fake. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and 10 here. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine. 
and looming. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Play action, now Purdy. That is caught, and finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. Huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Moody good with the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So now Stafford and the Rams down by two touchdowns. A little under a minute 50 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. First down at Stafford. He's got that well. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Stafford on first down. Open man right side is cup complete. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Another try, second and ten now. Now Stafford. That's caught. It's 2-2 Atwell. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. To the air again, Stafford. His throw incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Well, the faithful in full war here in 
Santa Clara. This is third down. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. Open man. He's got Atwell. And he's going to get this all the way down to the two before he's wrestled out. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Well, this game's not done just yet. A big conversion there on fourth down and a big gainer as well. They're going to have to play perfect football from here and get all the breaks, but at least they're giving themselves a shot. Here we go. First and goal. Stafford able to get away to the goal line, but it's incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Now it's Stafford. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with just under 40 seconds to go, you figure this is going to need to bounce their way if they have any shot. And it's the 49ers who recover it, and that ought to just about do it. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Purdy down to a knee, and that should be the final act of the ball game. Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it? In the fourth quarter, they had to just hold on. As you said, furious assault on them. But they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win.
So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffer the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.